What's up YouTube in this video we're going coyote hunting for the first time. Let's just straight into this. Okay, fellas, today we're going to coyote hunting for the first time ever. Now, we do not have much experience besides seeing these heifers during deer season. And I may do a few things to say wrong, but obviously fellas, we're gonna try and lessen the mistakes now. So the game plan is simple. We're gonna go to the only spot where I think there's coyotes and it's not my deer spot. I have not seen a coyote there in uh, about three to four months which is a bit bad. So we're going to the only spot I can think of where these heifers would lurk. But besides that, let's just get straight into the action. Welcome back, fellas. Now, today is a special kind of hunt. We're going coyote hunting for the first time ever. I've never gone coyote hunting before, but we're going to give her a whirl. Now, the calls that we're using are these, uh, the schnazzy here rabbit call, and of course these coyote mouth calls. Now, the mouth calls are a bit tricky as always, but the that rabbit call is uh, quite deafening. I mean, I cannot hear a single thing after just using that thing for probably about a good second. But the main goal here today is to get ourselves a heifer coyote and our first coyote ever. But besides that, I'll catch you all when we got some action. Okay boys, we were about here for about 45 minutes. About. And didn't hear a thing, didn't see a thing. Probably because they weren't convinced by that uh, weak little howl. But we're gonna relocate now. Get a little bit closer to the woods. And of course position us to face the field because the sooner we see them, them heifers, the sooner we could get right and get a shot off at one of them. I just gotta hope that there's a big old schnazzy coyote in them woods. Get some of that delicious heifer coyote meat, or try at least, because I never had before. But I've heard the coyotes uh, acquire taste, but that ain't gonna stop us. But beside that, time to get back into the hunting. Okay boys, well the first spot was kind of a bust, or not kind of a bust, it was a bust. So we gotta relocate now to a hopefully more prosperous area where there's some of these heifer coyotes. But we honestly need to find a better position where I'm not gonna be soaking wet while on the ground. But besides that, it is time to get after these coyotes. And some of you fellows who watch the trail cam videos over the summer and are asking, why aren't we hunting we're at my deer spot where we've seen a few of them? Here's the weird thing. They've disappeared over the last three months. I haven't seen a single coyote there in like three to four months. It's just odd, which is, Good for deer, obviously, but for the right now, getting ourselves a nice heifer coyote, it's not the best solution, but this is the only spot that I can think of where I think there will be coyotes and the best, honestly, land for it. It's somewhat open, and hopefully I can just get one heifer coyote to come in tonight, but we just gotta see. I'll screw the crap on me. Here he comes again for. Well, we called him one owl. There's something in the back. It's just behind that yellow bush right over there. That had to be a coyote. Oh, piss. One time I stood up, there's one just crawling on over there. Sweet. Let's just wait here for probably like 15 to 10 minutes, see if he reappears. I know it seems like a bad idea walking out closer just after 20 minutes after seeing that coyote, but it's kind of desperation time for for us boys so we're just gonna get as close as possible to the woods and most likely the driest spot because i just been sitting for the last hour in this wet garbage so 
We gotta get close to those woods and find somewhere with a dry spot. But besides that, I'll see y'all when we have some action. The city at least kind of blew our shot right there. Now, I only saw this heifer for about a second. It was only his head who came over the crest. He was probably wondering, where is this dying rabbit? And when he did not see a thing, he probably uh, got out of dodge. Or the most likely outcome, he saw me moving my head around like some idiot, and he just got out of dodge. Now, we waited a few uh, 15 to 20 minutes before we got up, but obviously if I saw him sewer and he didn't see me immediately, who knows? We could have got ourselves some shells down range and got ourselves a nice fancy coyote. Sadly, we blew our chance with that coyote, but the evening is still somewhat young, and I think there's still a chance we can get one. But besides that, let's just get back into the action. Okay, boys, we're packing in just a little early. Usually I would stay out a little longer, but seeing that water was not the best idea by far. And we blew our chance at shooting ourselves a coyote. Maybe if I just didn't set up when I did, or I saw a little sooner, maybe we could have got ourselves a shot down range and could have got ourselves a nice heifer coyote that we can be carrying back, but sadly, we blew it. I still keep on coyote hunting because it lasts, uh, bit longer but besides that this is sadly the end of the hunt sadly nothing else came in and i think that coyote kind of sounded the alarm on us but for our first ever coyote hunt and for me never coyote hunting before i say that was pretty uh somewhat good we did not get a coyote now but at least we saw one and with that kind of a uh, not the best calling by me personally i think that was pretty good but besides that this is sadly the end of the hunt thanks for watching if you guys want to see your last duck hunt video down here and of course if you guys want to see your last goose hunt video down here but besides that i'll see y'all next video see ya